Hi, my name is Kaya Tone, and I am the writer-director of Ghost Dance. Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm the production designer for Ghost Dance. Hey, I'm Alex, and I am the uh, cinematographer. I'm Tim Preston, and I'm one of the producers for Ghost Dance. Hi, my name is Haley, and I'm the assistant director. Ghost Dance follows a young woman named Nadia the night before her family home is sold. Um, she has this sort of last hurrah party with her friends and they accidentally open a portal to the astral plane slash dream plane. There she has to confront um, the spirit of the land, the horned one, and has to realize her personal responsibility for her home and for the environment there. There are a lot of thematic ideas um, that I'm excited to explore and experiment with. And especially within the astral plane. I'm just really excited to get out there and capture the landscape and all its natural beauty. Some of the things I'm really excited about are bringing in elements of the supernatural spiritual realm into Colorado and playing with the naturalistic beauty of Colorado and the people of Colorado while also bringing in these more spiritual elements. When I was writing Ghost Dance, I really had my hometown in mind. So I didn't think there's any better place to film besides my hometown of Boulder, Colorado. Because our film revolves a lot around the elements, we're gonna have a lot of exciting stunts dealing with water and fire. But our biggest concern is the fact that we're gonna be in the mountains and we're gonna be in the snow. So we are trying to keep everyone happy and healthy throughout the entire process. As a predominantly New York City based crew, filming in Colorado requires a lot of preparation. And that's where your contributions come in. Your contributions are going to help cover the flights for our crew, as well as provide the necessary means to rent things such as equipment, props, safety materials, and provide food for our cast and crew during the week of production. For me, this whole film is about everyone needing to take personal responsibility for the environment and for the places around them. Our world and our environment is in complete chaos right now. We have fires and icebergs and rising waters, and I think that if we have the chance of changing any of this, we need to wake up and take responsibility for it, each individual, and I hope that people can get that through Nadia's experience and her taking responsibility for her homeland.